Hello there. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. Uh, so for today's practice, uh, we, we will use the wall. So it takes a little bit of time just to set it up, but I promise you it's worthwhile. It, having the wall uh, for some practices, it just gives you a different sense of your body and provides a different sort of uh, way to kind of receive feedback and understand where you're pushing your weight into and can find, help you find a little bit of deeper opening sometimes as well. So if you've got a block, um, that would be great. Or you could also just use um, some cushions. And then for, because um, we'll start, we'll work through the upper body and a few poses um, using the wall uh, that's more kind of opening up the upper body and the side body. And then we'll do some restorative poses on the wall towards the end. And then, so if you've got a bolster or some, you know, firm cushions for that, that would be great as well. So for the first bit, you want to uh, set up your your block or your cushions, and we need to measure how far we are from the wall. So you want to set yourself up into a cross-legged position. And what you want to be able to do is reach back and have an arm's length distance away from the wall. So you might need to just shuffle yourself forward and back. Just make sure that you've got enough space to just have one arm's length distance uh, away from the wall. Okay. So just take a moment, set yourself up. And then once you've found your position, we're going to just start in a cross-legged position with the right leg in front, resting the hands down onto your thighs, closing down your eyes. Just noticing what's here right now. Allowing whatever is here to be here. Starting to feel into the body. Feeling your sitting bones pressing down into your block or your cushions. Picturing the length of the spine all the way from the base. The lower back and the middle back, the upper back and the neck. With each breath in, imagine space being created in between each of the vertebra. And as you exhale, allowing the shoulders to soften away from the ears. So let's stay with the breath for another few moments. And let's open up the eyes when you're ready. So we're going to begin by taking the right arm back behind you, placing it on the wall. So you're sort of lining up that right wrist with your right shoulder and the left hand can just stay in front of the left thigh for the time being. You know, pressing the palm of the hand into the wall. And if you feel like you're in the wrong position, then you can just shift yourself slightly forward and back. So you can have the palm flat and the arm extended and then start to turn the fingers towards the left and keep pressing the palm of the hand into the wall and just keep the back of the neck long and you can start to turn the eyes towards that right hand as well and just find the breath. Now you might already find this super, super strong. This is a beautiful opening through that right inner arm into the right shoulder and right upper chest. As we continue to hold here, you might start to bring this left hand over towards the right thigh and then option here to start to walk that the right fingers a little bit further over towards the left, just to where you can. And then once again, just finding the position and holding here. A little bit of pressure into the palm of the right hand. 
left sitting bone keeps grounding down so you're not lifting that left hip up as you inhale thinking about lengthening out through both sides of the waist as you exhale maybe turning the left side of the torso a little bit more towards the right and you might find you just continue to find a little bit more space and can walk the hand a little bit further towards the left this last couple of breaths here shoulders dropping away from the ears and then just very gently reversing that right hand that comes all the way back to center and just noticing that noticing that residual sensation that right arm placing the sole of the right foot down and extending that left leg away long flexing that left foot reaching the right arm up take an inhale and then as you exhale I'm just going to hook that right elbow to the inner edge of that right thigh and taking a twist to the left looking over the left shoulder keeping both sitting bones grounding down that right side of the torso turning towards the left open breathing and then inhale to come back to center and we'll just swap the cross around so we're going to have the left leg in front now in this kind of easy cross-legged position and then taking that left hand back so lining up that left wrist with the left shoulder and we can have the fingers pointing up just for a moment that right hand just in front of you in front of that right thigh and then when you feel ready starting to turn the fingers to face towards the right side now gentle pressure into that left palm and then eyes just turning towards the left or you can even just like let the eyes close and just really feel into the sensation it's whatever feels feels right for you it's that right sitting bone that's grounding down now And then you might feel like you're able to start to walk the left fingers a little bit further back behind you and maybe bringing that right hand to the uh, top of the left thigh. A little bit of pressure into that left hand. coming up towards the end of this posture you might want to walk a little bit further if you've got some space last couple of breaths notice if there's anything you can let go of releasing the jaw and then very slowly just starting to come back out coming back to center and then let's stand down onto that left foot extending that right leg away long flexing the right foot right hand down just down by your side take an inhale to reach the left arm up and then exhale just pressing that left elbow to the inner edge of that left thigh but resist so you're holding it there and then bringing the right fingertips behind you so you can twist to look over the right shoulder left sitting bone staying down on the block or the cushions taking one more inhale stay for the exhale so if there's any more space and then inhale to return back to center and then just moving moving your block off to the side for now coming onto your knees and then just uh, coming all the way up and then turning to face uh, the side here. So we're going to work with the left leg first. The left leg extends away. And so the outer edge of that left foot lines up with the, the skirting of the wall. And then this right, right knee, right underneath the, the right hip here. Take the arms out to the side, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, I'm going to bring this left hand down and reach the right fingertips over towards the wall. And you might want to use the left fingers 
onto the wall if that feels more supportive or if it feels okay to do so, you can pop the left hand down. And then if you wanna look up towards the ceiling, looking past that right hand, keep pressing down through that uh, right shin bone and opening up through that right side body, reaching the fingertips towards the wall. Softening the lower ribs in towards the spine, keeping the breath open. And then taking an inhale, coming back to centre, placing that right hand down, right wrist underneath the shoulder, extending that left arm up and over, looking up towards the ceiling, opening up through that left side body now, reaching out through the left fingertips. Taking an inhale and then exhale, just folding in, finding your tabletop position here. Taking the heels all the way back to press onto the wall and finding your down facing dog. Drawing the kneecaps up, pressing down through the palms, the hands. And just pressing the heels into the wall to help us lift up the hips, lengthening up through both sides of the waist. And then coming back down into your tabletop position to come up onto the knees, turning to the side so you can extend that right leg up long, making sure that left knee is underneath the left hip. Taking the arms out to the side, inhale, exhale, bringing the right hand down, sliding it down the leg and taking that left hand over and maybe turning the eyes to look up towards the ceiling. Keep drawing the lower ribs in. Opening up that left side of the body. And then let's take an inhale, come back upright, taking that left hand down, left wrist underneath the shoulder, right arm up and over, eyes turning towards up, to look up towards the ceiling. Taking one more inhale, and then as you exhale, folding in to face the mat, coming into your tabletop, and then once again, finding a down facing dog, then taking those heels back. Feeling uh, long through the toes, it's as if you've got some high heels on, so your heels are uh, up high, but not too high, so you don't want your, the sole of the foot against the wall. Just noticing how it changes your down facing dog. And usually we start to, we reach the heels down towards the mat. This is just, a, actually creates just a little bit more ease and support usually. Feeling really free to hold your down facing dog. If you'd like to take your legs up the wall, if that feels like it's available for you, we're just gonna take our L shape against the wall. You can bring your hands a little bit closer in towards you. So you wanna to try to set up the wrists so they'll set up underneath your hips when you take the legs up. Take the heels up to where your hips would be and then start to press, press away with the wall. Draw the lower ribs in. Keep pressing down through the palms, the hands. We'll just hold here for three breaths. And then one leg at a time, coming back down into your down facing dog if you're up. Just taking a moment. And then coming down to the knees, coming to a seated position and we're just going to turn around to face the wall. Coming into our Dandasana, pressing the soles of the feet against the wall, both sitting bones down. Take an inhale to reach the arms up and then exhale to fold forward, holding the ankles or holding the outside edges of the feet. Trying to keep the soles of the feet flat onto the wall. Drawing the kneecaps up. Slowing down your breathing. 
Not worrying if you're not coming too far forward here. Last two breaths. And then taking an inhale, come back upright. Now we're going to take some time just to set ourselves up to take our legs up the wall. So you want to place your cushions or your bolster right up against the wall. And you need to get yourself really close to the wall here to get up. So lying back. Trying to get your hips right up onto the cushions and your hip bones, or your sitting bones, just touching the wall. So you're feeling really supported through the lower back there and then extending the legs up. And you can just relax the feet. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. And if it feels comfortable, closing down the eyes. With each exhale, allowing the belly to fall back towards the spine. Surrendering the weight of the body here. Please feel free to stay with the legs long if you would prefer to. Otherwise, we'll take our Baddha Konasana variation here. So bringing the soles, the feet together and pressing the knees back towards the wall. And then option to extend the legs out long into your Upavishta Konasana, a wide-legged pose. If you've taken your legs out wide, you need to keep a little bit active through the legs. You want to keep the feet flexed and you don't want the knees to like turn out and the feet to point down. So it's as if you're sitting on the ground, pressing the backs of the legs towards the wall. And as you continue to hold here, you might find a little bit more space to open the legs out or, or not. Last couple of breaths here. And then you might want to use your hands, but otherwise, if you feel like you can, you can just bring the legs in towards one another. Just taking another few moments just with legs long. And then bending the legs. And just very gently making your way off, so rolling over to one side coming up to a seated position. We're just going to get ourselves ready for our Shavasana. So let's bring the bolster or the cushions a little bit further down so we can pop them underneath our, our knees. Make sure you've got enough room to lie back and make yourself nice and warm if you're not already, not already warm. Lying all the way back. Make sure the heels are in contact with the mat, extending the arms away, closing down the eyes when you're ready. So 
relax with each exhale, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and then a little bit softer. Feeling supported by the ground underneath you. Allowing yourself to come to rest for the next few minutes. Please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.